subscribe to our channel. All right, we are here. We'll go see if we can get this paddle reconditioned because you can see I went paddling with it. <laughs> and it didn't really work all that great in salt water. It's just a joke. Oh, I get it. I get joke. And it got a little rusty. Let's go see if the blacksmith himself can fix it. The master blacksmith, Mr. Striker Ford. And it is wet out there. I bet. It's warmer in here. You can see that it's cold. Is it cold? It's raining. It's raining. So I brought you the paddle. <laughs> Yeah, well, it didn't work like very well, you know, paddling. It's a little bit small. I bet. <laughs> so and then and then it kind of got rusty from the salt water. So I was thinking maybe you could like fix it for me. Well, I could shut this right on <laughs> up. Yeah, no, not a problem. Here, so I went out there and I was like, like <laughs> no, you're supposed to get the barbecue. <laughs> that's what I did. No, oh, I said, yeah, that's what I should have done. I oh. need a smaller canoe. Is gonna go fix up that magic paddle. You made those tongs? These, yeah. Uh, we make a bunch of different sets. Oh, wow. Um, these right here, these aren't finished, but this is what we do. It's, it's like real life Minecraft. You have to like make the tools to make the other tools. Thank God I don't have to beat on a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been crafting for 42 years. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, what we're doing is we're going to get this laid out. So, just a little local beeswax here. So, you just heated and waxed it? Yeah, that's it. And then, what I do is I come back over here to the forge. And what I do is I'm going to part that wax on there. So I uh, I don't want to actually. So on this process, I don't want it to get super hot and bubble or flame up. Uh, the wax will make its own little shell around this as long as you keep the heat drying it out in an even method. This is probably one of the oldest blacksmith finishes there are because well beeswax was something available anywhere you went. and was something that we used for a lot of different things anyways. And as all kids goof off, there's certain ones that you just you look at and you see them always paying attention. I, all of my students are that way. And in the metal shop, we kind of work separately off of the wood shop. And basically, whoever has their projects finished kind of gets to come and hang out. So I blackened that up a little bit and put a thicker finish on it. Uh, if you're gonna be out in the ocean on it, it's always gonna rust a little bit, but that should. It's been doing it's been doing pretty good in the uh, in the car itself, but then I took it out on a paddle. I went around Maristone or around Indian Island rather, and was like, "Oh, I'll get some shots while I was out there." And so I got like a shot or two, but then definitely like the following day, I looked at it and rehung it on the on the mirror. And then the following day, I looked at it and I was like, "Oh, it all rusted." <laughs> and I didn't fall in. I think it's like the sweat. Now, now that you've touched it, sorry. <laughs> So in Florida, when I sent a bunch of pendants over, they messaged me and said, hey, they're starting to rust. And I said, well, of course they are. They're metal. You're in Florida. Uh, and you have salt air coming in. And when you are hanging out by the beach, like you do often, and it's hanging in your rear view mirror, you're getting salt air on it. You're going to rust it. If you think you can stop rust, well, stop the rust on your car. <laughs> Better companies than you have been trying forever, <laughs> for at least a hundred years now. I didn't know if you were gonna have to like grind it down or like, you know, anything to like heat the whole thing up and like move it around and tab slag off. That's like super easy. See, this is why metal is amazing. Cause you could like totally have it all be rusty and look like completely bad and totally messed up courtesy of me, not from the shop. And, uh, and then just heat it up and like rub it with some wax, give it some heat treatment and rub down. And look at that, it's beautiful. It's got a nice bronzy, like caramel color to it. Yeah, I love it. And it smells delicious. Nice, and yeah, exactly. It smells delicious. Like fresh bees wax.
love having rad friends. What an absolute master craftsman that dude is. Super cool little tricks. I love, that's one of the things I love about seeing other people and, and doing this kind of stuff is uh, you learn all kinds of new information. So if you ever want to recondition metal, apparently, um, say 400 degrees, I think we'll, we'll go back and watch the video. But if you ever want to recondition metal, here are some great tricks from Striker Forge because you can see just how beautiful this beautiful paddle came out, reconditioned back to even better than new. It's like a fine wine. It is aged. It is aged immaculately. Well, that is rad. Striker Forge is going to be one of our sponsors. They are going to donate half of any proceeds from the sale of their product for all the orders that they get from us. And they'll donate half of the proceeds to our paddle fund. So go to their, go to their website, strikerforge.com. Go to their website and order yourself uh, some of the rad stuff that you saw there. Give us, a, give us a ring, let us know what you want, and they'll even throw in a special gift for you. How about that? So thank you, Striker Forge, for, for believing in us and making the paddle happen. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below. If you enjoy our content, please think about liking and subscribing. This is a fun, fun hobby and great thing for me and my kids to do. And we really enjoy it a lot. And the more subscribers that we have, well, the more cool projects we can justify doing. So give us those numbers, help us out with those numbers and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.